I was bored. Hmm. Fighting fit, I see. Keep up the good work. See, that that's just confirming what I'm suspecting. He's letting him do this because he sees that that what's gonna You're happen. Plotting something. Oh, she sees it too. Every hour of every day. But never you mind about that. As I have told you a thousand times before, I like to watch. Nothing more. Because he knows he knows us doing this is gonna be fuck us well, up no matter what. I would quit this place and I suggest you do the same. There is yet work to be done. Ah, oh, there is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. You recognize these scenes? That I do. Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and three reflections. Sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. And the worst part? No one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. A vision shared of a paradise lost. Preserved only in song and scripture and paint. Once upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again, to look, learn, and remember. Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. Before the great sundering, there was one world. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. Until it was faced with a crisis. Unprecedented. Terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. Ah, uh, I could tell depicted by the burning but through city. prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his name. And by his grace was the calamity averted. Zodiac. A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydalin. She who was to serve as his shackles. To bind him and hold him in check. And so they fought, and they fought, and they fought. And in the end, Hydalin was victorious. With all her strength, she smote him dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. And thus was Zodiac banished and his being divided. Hmm, they kind of look like the elementals, or rather my anima. That concludes today's lesson on long forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account as is her wont. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. But... What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. They are gods after a fashion, yes. 
but no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. The eldest and most powerful of primals. You have spun quite a tale. Yet you have not explained the role of the Assians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? <laughs> finally, finally you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. Oh, am I so upset about that? We Assians know because it is our history. Our story. It was we who summoned Zodiac. We natives of that sundered paradise. Oh. Now, do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? For our world for our people, for all creation to be made whole again. Wouldn't you wish for the same? Ah, oh, man, that's a lot to digest. It did tell me about primals, but I don't fully understand what all of this means. Don't, don't worry, neither of us. Good looking guy, huh? Hmm. Eh, eh, it's passable. Yeah. But if that were if that were Heidelin's origin, then what would that make? No, no, I will not take the words of his eye that trust. It has to be a lie. Hmm. Because of said truth is a matter of perspective, yet upon this matter there can be but one truth, and we pray it is not this. That was an enlightening experience, though not in the way I had hoped. Do you suppose there is any truth in Emmett's claims? Emmett Selt's words have clearly found their mark. The recent events plainly warrant further discussion. I think it's best that we wait until Alphanel and the others are present. Met Selk included. How convenient that he should choose this moment to keep to the shadows. Well, no matter. For the present, we should return to Fanero, Fanel, and make certain of the Ilmorin's withdrawal. After that slither bow, the blessed are no doubt later but it was become of the sky. Progress. Good story so far. I like it. I like every characterization. I like every voice acting. I like every sequence. <sighs> Ooh, man. An adventure. I love it. I'm glad it's not short. It might be winding and long, but it's uh, a good. It's a good sort of winding and long that I can tolerate. I really hope I don't encounter a level gate this time. Otherwise, I have to cut the stream short just to do roulettes to keep up. But I'm about to hit level 77, so hopefully that won't be anytime soon. I feel I we've hit the probably m the middle part of the story because there's like two more areas left that I have to liberate. The sky, it is beautiful. It is. It's dark. No angry light burning from above. What happened to the sky? I've never seen anything like it. Are you sure? Come on, if you're older than 100, you should have seen it be like that. You are returned and unharmed, I see. Indeed, I am pleased to report that the Light Warden is no more, thanks in large part to you. 
that the death of a single Sin Eater should make such a difference. As our numbers waned, so did too, so too did our hope that the ruins we have devoted our lives to guarding would ever find purpose. Yet here you are, the allies of whom we have waited these many centuries. And with your arrival came the chance to pass on our legacy, the ancient wisdom of the Empire. Man, that was a hell of a wisdom we just got. And alone would have been reward enough. Never did we imagine it would serve to banish the light that pervaded these woods. On behalf of the Vs, our forebearers, and the late Emperor of Ronka, you have our deepest thanks. Oh, isn't that our... Isn't that our, like, a uh, salute? It is we who should be thanking you. Our journey through the Katana Ravel proved most enlightening. To be privy of such knowledge is an honor, one of which we never hope. Please, please, you need not be so humble. Be more asshole about it. We but do our duty as decreed by the late Emperor. Would that he were still with us to express his gratitude in person. But sister, does this not mean our duty is fulfilled? We are allies, perhaps, but the ruins cannot be left unguarded. So long as we live here in the woods, the secrets of Ramka must not fall into the wrong hands. Gunnar is still here? No, we escorted him back to the slither bow shortly after you set out. If you would return to the Knights Blessed, we will not keep you any longer. I suspect you would be glad of your company. Thank you, Elmet. I look forward to a day when we might share a more leisurely visit to the ruins of Ramka. We will wait your return then. Still taller than you, Vera lady. Oh no. Chat distracting. Gotta close it. Talking about stuff I shouldn't be looking at. Perhaps someday we'll visit your home instead. Oh yeah, my tiny apartment in Kugane. Uh, let me clean it up first. It'll be a year from now or ten. We look forward to your return. Oh yeah. I will be returning, returning sooner than you think. Man, look at all these quest markers. How many are there? One, two, three. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What is this? Gemstone Trader. Oh, okay. 13, 14, 15, 16. Holy shit. Oh, man. I'm going to have a good time down here. Uh, But that's for another day. Well, we're going to go there. You are returned, and none the worse for wear, I see. We literally just teleported and avoided all that bullshit. You needn't worry about us. What became of the Yamoran soldiers, more importantly? Mm -hmm. They turned tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. Oh, really? The children of the Everlasting Dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. Try as they might, they could not deny the truth of their own eyes. The sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need no pain or suffering. In that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain suspicions about you. Now I see that I was right. Pardon? You are the bringers of shadow. The warriors of darkness. The saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. Ah, oh, shucks. Well, I, uh... 
I suppose you're not entirely wrong. But we are not worthy of your reverence, nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray, pray for your children, that they may one day know a better world. I will do as you say, but please, let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. Our free food? I'm sorry, Runar, but there is still much to be done and scant time in which to do it. Oh my god, you stole our Why would you do this? Why? Okay. We must go. All of us. For we share the same path and the same fate. Stola, there's always time for food. Please. Let's not be so hasty. But the DF just doesn't want you to go, because, period, because he's, uh... So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts, as we will hold you in ours. Now and ever after, by the boundless dark, this I swear. Tell me that's the game. I feel like I, there's a fly in my ear. Well, I wish you could stay, but understand that duty calls and you must answer. Each night when we gaze upon again the sunless sea, I will think of you, of Master Matoya, and all you have done of the nights for the nights blessed. Safe travels, my friend, and may the shadows keep you. Alright, thanks for the long goodbye. Uh, it's 76 right now, Jesus. So I am getting closer to them. What pains me to leave is time I return with you and others to the Crystarium. But before we go, might I speak with you in private? I will await you in my chambers. Ah, uh, she's gonna drop the bombshell that she thinks I don't. I don't know. Thank you for coming. I thought to keep my suspicions to myself, but after witnessing your victory at Raktika Falls, I fear they proved proven, so I must share them with you. From the first when we met at Fort Gone, your aether has appeared tainted, suffused with an overabundance of light not unlike the Sin Eaters. When you defeated a Light Warden, I feared the light which poured forth from it was not negated by Hydaelyn's blessing, rather it was absorbed into your being. Oriage <laughs> also expects his mutts, though he is unwilling to share his thoughts on the matter. One thing is certain. With every warden you defeat, the danger to you grows greater. Greater perhaps than we can imagine. If you begin to feel anything strange, anything at all, print for me at once. You should hurry before the others begin to worry. Once I have sorted my things here, I will join you. Well, thank you for letting me know, but not giving me a solution to the problem. But I suppose that's better than just, you know, me bursting out then exploding into light confetti. And light confetti is a very, 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 very tame way of explaining what the fuck I just saw the last time. That was not light confetti, that was light horror show. One last patrol of the perimeter. All things considered, Slayer Ball ruins relatively willing and escape. Thanks to the antidote, all those who were poisoned will make a full recovery, and with the night sky return, their prayers have at last been answered. I 
I kind of want Ishtola's dress. I wonder if that's available anywhere. At, at the worst case, it'll be a monk station thing. And it's so sexy in the back, you know? I'll not gonna lie, there's a part of me that wishes I could stay. For two years, I have lived with the Blessed, learned their culture, even going so far as to adopt Master Matoya's name as my own. But I pray I... I but pray I did honor to it. Now is not the time for doubt or hesitation. Oh, hold on. Where, where am I going? Hold up. Oh, it's just dirty. Okay. Hopefully the others will arrive before long. It was passing strange to see the Custerium so seemingly this late, yet it appears all is well. Hmm. All things considered, it is hardly surprising that Alphanel and Essay has yet to revive Boris the Exarc. My friends, good to see you all again. suspicions on who the Light Warden of Calusa might be, but I don't know that for certain yet. I assume your presence here means you've brought word of the Warden hiding in, hiding in Raktika. It gone. Found its lady say, I should have known. Yulmar has but recently dispatched soldiers to all corners of Norvrant to defend them. Wow. I am glad to see their efforts were wasted in the Great Wood. Speaking of Yulmar, what came of your meeting with Valtry? Yes, about that. It proved to be bullshit, as just as we expected. Uh, what happened? I should push yourself. Your time away from the tower is clearly taken its toll. Hmm. No doubt you're all tired as well. We have traveled so far. Why don't we all take a much needed rest before we can discuss our findings? I thought to purpose. I thought to propose the very same. After a clash with the warden, you deserve a chance to recuperate. But I'm not sleepy! It's settled then. We'll reconvene after everyone has had time to settle in. But mom! Okay. It's okay. Also, um, people reminded me that there is the existence of the role. uh, where am I going? Oh, uh, don't go so far from the paper, right? Uh, people have also reminded me that I needed to do my role quests, which I haven't touched since I started them. Where am I? Where is the paper, right? Eh, might as well keep that. Where is the aetherite? right, I say, as the big crystal is sitting in front of me? I suppose I can do that while I'm on this downtime right now. Hopefully that will add some XP that I'm apparently sorely needing because I, for some reason I'm always so short. Either I'm going too fast or the MSQ isn't giving me enough. Oh, baguette! Ooh! Ooh, Popo, you see this? Baguette. Blood tomato juice. Pixie apple pie. Ooh, yummy. Nut bait. Oh, these are all 403, 406. Oh. 
Okay, just give me this. Is it is the reason why So there's a light sealed inside you, is there? You wouldn't know it from the outside. You look the same as you ever did to me. I just wanted to say Is the fact that Oddbird always appears in the inner room the reason why we sleep in our armor in bed? Stiff as a plank. Must stay the course for the others. And what if that changes? What if it overwhelms me? Then I suppose there's not to do but rest. damned if I know. It's not as if I can lift a finger to help myself, much less you. <laughs> Damn. Wow, this feels really personal. It's pretty cool. Have faith in your friends, look out for them, and hope that they look out for you. What more can you do? Yeah, fair enough. What more can I do? I mean, damned if I do and damned if I don't. It's pretty much the thing here. Think he was telling the truth? Emmett, I mean. All that rot about Heidlin being no different from any other primal. If so, what would that make her blessing? Are we just slaves to her will? Well, oh, are you telling me that didn't cross your mind? Ah, let's pay him no mind. Lies the Asian stock in trade. Villains, heroes. All a matter of perspective, they'd have you believe. One man's fond memory, another's waking nightmare. Oh, you know, that's very curious that you should, uh, word it that way. Me, I'm no saint or savior. Just another sinner. And I know damn well I'm in no position to judge. When I saw the people of Slitherbow look up at the sky and celebrate the return of the dark, it felt good. It was moments like that that I cherished. Much more than the thrill of adventure. The quiet after the storm. I always took comfort in that. Yeah, his thing about perspective and villain and heroes and stuff. Oh, oh no, more, okay. Bring me more. What's happening in Garlemald? What's Garlemald up to? More of their shenanigans. More of the Black Rose shit. God, if you're gonna stroll in Garlemald, at least look like you're not a hobo. I mean... What did the scouts have to report? Several skirmishes, but nothing of consequence. The fighting seems to have taken its toll on both sides. A stalemate, then. The Alliance has done well to hold the line for so long. <laughs> but then they did have Ishgardian reinforcements. Oh my god, I can't... For, so for some reason to me, Estinian's voice always seems to change, like it's never consistent for me. Nevertheless, neither side has any appetite for a prolonged engagement. Tis but the calm before the storm. And should the Empire choose to bring their full might to bear? To say nothing of Black Rose. It doesn't match his face either. Search. How close are your people to identifying our next target? Close enough. Though I have received some troubling intelligence. One of our generals posted to the Alamegan front recently disappeared without trace from the battlefield at Gimlet Dark. Mm hmm Odd. Dead seems unlikely. Fled less so. I wonder where he'll turn up. Were I a betting man, I would say here, in the capital. 
Hmm. Not that any deserter who valued his life would contemplate returning. But a corpse might, given the right encouragement. In the manner of his royal remains, you mean? His royal remains? Oh, wow, that's a good one. <laughs> his royal remains. Elidibus plainly has no need of a new host. So the question becomes who? It may be that another player has joined the game. Something to consider at any rate. But come, there is work to be done. And you two bozos are just talking at your grand scheme in the middle of the freaking street. Where everybody could just open a window and hear everything, you know? Like that! Exactly! My god, you guys are not savvy at all. These bloodless games make for poor sport. Oh no, that's that no, it's that guy. Oh. May happy father. No. I am a stranger to him in this body. Hmm. Besides, there is but one hand that can make me whole again. My enemy. My friend. Oh my god, that, that it's the battle battle boner talking I know again. Not what entertainment occupies you. But if you will not clear the way for me, then I shall seize the reins of fate once more. Well, I can partially sympathize. I mean, all these mind games are sort of... Yeah, tiring. I mean, you want to get to the action, right? Well, we don't want to get to the action action, like, you know, actual killing people. You know, just kind of hit people a little bit, you know, walking ahead.